Welcome to the Carbon Track Giza Installation Guide. This short video will show you the steps to be followed when installing Carbon Track at the Giza. The CT100i unit itself is a computer with an integrated modem to which a number of peripherals will be connected during the installation process. Please note that if installed at the distribution box, an extra circuit breaker has to be installed. A certified electrician must complete and issue a certificate of compliance. If the unit is to be installed in the roof, no certificate of compliance is required as long as the installation is done after the geyser isolator. First, let's have a look inside the CT100i installation kit and identify its components. Inside your installation kit, you'll find several items. A CT100i unit, a power supply boxed with the CT100i, one voltage sensor, one current clamp, KF1 NTC 10K cutout, one water leak sensor, and a 20 amp housed relay. Please ensure you turn off the power at the breaker before commencing work in the distribution board. Please ensure that the installation site is safe from possible water contamination damage and that the power is turned off using the geyser isolator switch. Also, check that there is proper signal coverage at installation for the GPRS modem. Mount the carbon track unit with the aerial pointing upwards. The unit must be installed upright or on its side with the CT unit on the top right corner position. Do not install any other way. Connect power as per the electrical diagram. Next, install the relay as per electrical diagram. Connect the four pin plug to port number nine of the CT100i called Giza Relay. Install the cutout unit, route the four pin plug to CT100i into analog and digital temperature sensor number one port number 3. Install water leak sensor into port number 12 of the CT100i unit. Place a sensor at drain of geyser tray. Next, install the current clamp, blue CT meter, around the wire leading to the geyser element after the relay. Next, mount voltage sensors and power supply close to the unit. As an installer, you will have a handheld tester. Connect it to port number 13. You will see all the parameters sensed by the unit come up on the screen. Six parameters will be displayed on the handheld tester screen. Ensure geyser temperature and relay status is displayed correctly. If the temperature is not correct, verify that the temperature sensor is plugged in correctly. Finally, switch on isolator and commission the geyser.